So in slide two of my uh, PowerPoint presentation, I have a router and a modem. Um, sometimes they're combined, but in mine they just happen to not be. So what happens is when you want to talk to other devices within the restaurant, or maybe from outside the restaurant, you have the router, which has the default gateway um, IPv4 or IPv6 address. That is like the main kind of brains of it. It's kind of like a little computer on its own. It could have one interface, network interface card, or it could have 20, I guess. But each uh, subsequent part of the restaurant, like the waiters or the... My computer just went out, sorry. <laughs> or the cashier stations or things like that all have their own IP address. And it is the switch's job to have those things that are plugged into it find which number it is. So when you ask for to look for the printer, it goes through the switch and the switch says, oh, that IPv4 uh, or 6 address, which is 192 for IPv4, and it's a huge long number for the IPv6, it knows which one to go to because that's its job. And I think that that's basically how my network would be run. Um, let me take a look at it. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Now I have Wi-Fi routers and I have a free Wi-Fi router and that would be for the mobile waiters. But those Wi-Fi routers will also have an IPV address that the switch knows how to read and then it will use the modem to send it out to the internet to swirl around and that's how my network works. Um, I hope I kind of explained it. I think that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. It's pretty simple. Uh, Pretty complicated, but hopefully I can convince somebody to spend $5,000 on a point of sale system by knowing this information. Thank you, and you have a good day. Bye.